Hey guys, I'm LB, and as you can see, we were checking out Wheatley Test by Ben77 with a custom load screen. Wheatley Test. Okay, so the bad news is the tests are my tests now, so they can kill us. Yep, they can kill us. Wheatley Test by Ben77. My decision... Uh, I don't actually know what that is, and there's a blind playthrough by Anna. Neat. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. You're not gonna tell us the good news, GLaDOS? No good news? I guess there's no good news. Hey, it is great seeing you guys again. Seriously, um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect! After seeing what he's done to my facility, after we take over again, is it alright if I kill him? Alright, that does not auto-respawn as far as I'm aware. In fact, it might not even fizzle when it gets down there. <laughs> It might just fall all the way down and land at the bottom. Hmm, there's no portal surfaces... ...that are at ground level in this area, except for that on the other side there. That light bridge... ...is, I guess, decorative? I guess just get from there to the exit? Not really sure why that's necessary, but okay. It looks like, at some point, we're gonna be able to place portal there, and use a funnel to go up through that hole, and then put a laser cube and point it at that, and then we can just walk to the exit. So our goal is to get out here with a funnel and a laser cube, but we also need to be able to get over there. Then there's whole- this whole situation, which I'm assuming angles that? That would be my guess. Maybe this would be... Maybe this would be a reversed funnel into the ceiling or something? And then we've got that, and that to let us go back and forth. It's kinda strange how the light strips are... ...like that, they're lopsided. I'm assuming this is gonna rotate... ...to face that way, and like, these are just to give us extra time or something? Not sure about that. I guess we'll have to see if the funnel can reverse. Oh, it's already reversed! Okay, that's good. And it'll- it'll unreverse. Oh, we got a faceplate here. Where does this take us? Oh. That's not particularly interesting, but I'm sure we can use it to launch a cube. Yeah, that unreverses the funnel. Gotcha. What is this one for? We just have another... I guess it's just a ground level portal surface, and... at the same height as that for... reasons? Not sure. Well, anyway, we do need to go in there, to start off with press this button. This definitely is reminiscent of one of the actual Wheatley tests from the game, but, uh, it's the one where he was surprised that we were alive. Whenever- whenever I see this with the hole and the portal surface and the button behind the glass, it reminds me of that one. I think that's the one where you can see Peabody. Yes. Okay. So... Aha! Oh, well, that's not at all what I wanted to have happen. <laughs> that is not at all what I wanted to have happen. Okay, so we just gotta stand on that button instead. That's easy enough to do. Portal there, portal there. Let's plonk this cube over here. Do this. There we go. It holds it above the faceplate. And then... I think... the best course of action would be to use this ourselves. Yes! There we go. So that's how you do that. So now we have this... uh, excuse me. I wanna push it- put it on the button, thank you. Let's go and investigate over here real quick. So we can come back easily enough. Yeah, there's that portal surface. ...that we can see from here, I believe. Impossible! Um, as it is to imagine, there actually is a solution, devilishly hidden. This is what I was talking about. Hmm... Like, the issue is we can respawn the cube... ...but then we would have a portal in here, and we couldn't really do much. We can shoot those portal surfaces, but it's not gonna get us out of here.
so. Let's actually go back. I think I have an idea of what to do. Oh, there's also these portal surfaces there. Interesting. I guess those are just extra. We do that. And then... Wait, what did I want to do? I already forgot. I think I didn't even know what I was doing in the first place. Wait a second. Is there another cube? Oh yeah, there's that cube. I completely forgot about that cube. Okay, well let's focus on getting this other cube then. That'll probably make things a lot easier. <laughs> I was trying to solve this with just one cube. I don't even think that's possible. Well yeah, it's probably not possible or else the puzzle would be that way. Do that. I'm just going to assume that that is lined up. I honestly can't tell. I think it is. Oh, it's a Franken cube. Yeah, because of course it is. It's a Wheatley. It's a Wheatley test. Alright, so we've done that. Let's put this on here for- um, actually no. Let's put this on here. There we go. And we'll put this one here. So let's go investigate this whole laser situation. Hmm. Interesting, this is actually- this platform's actually higher up than that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I didn't even notice that. So that's why that is higher up. I was trying to figure out how we were gonna hit it. Alright. Well, let's head over- oh, come on. Portal, thank you. Right, so. Let's take this. And head through here. And point it at this and see what this does. Was I right? Yes, I was. Okay, so that's what that does. So we would take the forward funnel across to here, and then lift ourselves up with the laser cube, right? I think we're gonna use that cube. Yes, I see how this works now. We're almost done. Um, let's do that. There we go. So that's what this is for. So we can do this. And then run over here, plonk it down here. And then we head over here. Got plenty of second chance here. Not sure why that exists, but sure why not. Then we use that. Kinda looks like an area in there, doesn't it? Yes. You're just about done. Yep. Here oh, we go. Oh yes. Well done. Yep, that's it. Cool puzzle. I like that. Very nice. All right. Oh wow. <laughs> well done. Seriously, both of you. Why don't I? Why don't you two go on ahead? Yeah, I'll just I'll catch up with you. All right. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!